Guys, it's April 1st. That means the Cooking That Boom Bap Masterclass has released today. Make sure you head over, hit the link in the description, grab that course as soon as possible. Step your Boom Bap Master game up. You know what I'm saying? From your boy, they call me Heat. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's me. They call me Heat. <laughs> Yo, if this is your first time watching, I'm a music producer of over 10 plus years. And on this channel here, I show producers how to make some of the best boom bap style beats. It's been a minute since I've dug into tracklive.com just to kind of see what's on there, you know, see what samples are on there. I know I always tell you guys about it. It's in my link in the description, you know, for you guys. Um, but I actually went in and I tapped back in because, like I said, it's been a while. So I tapped back into TrackLib, grabbed up a sample, and man, I love it. TrackLib is amazing. So I want, I want to play you the sample first. Let me play you the sample real quick. It's so So shout out to TrackLib for that sample. I'm gonna throw this into Serato sample and we're gonna get to cooking. I've already laid like a simple uh, drum pattern down. Kind of reminds me of that common, that common uh, joint that he did with that uh, Primo. I think that was Primo. Yeah, Primo did the beat on there. But yeah, it kind of reminds me of that common beat. And that's kind of why I wanted to go with that pattern because it's something that we, you know, we're all used to, something that we know. And that's usually how I like to, you know, recreate drums or to create my drums. I kind of recreate somebody's like drum pattern if it's something that I'm trying to do fast. And that helps a lot of the time. So if you're struggling with like drum patterns, redo like your favorite drum pattern and then, you know, what I'm saying make your own beat out of it from there. But let me get to chopping this sample here. Serato sample, I like just, just capturing like random spots. Sometimes I'll chop 16 beats, but like there's certain little points where you, you know, you want to, want to get, you know, different types of chops. That's why I like Serato sample because I can do so much with the whole sample rather than having to go with just one little like particular loop, like with the Fruity Slicer. <laughs> That's dope, that's super dope. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet, but I'm gonna try like different things over the drum pattern that I have. I like that. That's that's kind of dope. I like those chops. And as you can see, like, that's why I was talking about, like, different hits, because you can do, like, different variations of those hits. So as you saw, I was... You know, you can do different things like that. So I think that's really dope. So now I think I want to take that pitch back down, though, probably, like, let's see negative three. Let's see, let's see what that sounds like. Okay, a uh, little different variation there, but I like what I did so far. I like that like break that I had here. Let's see if I can make that work. Ooh. <laughs> 
that's dope. I like that. That's amazing. I think I'm going to put like some delay on the sample too, uh, just to kind of, you know, give us some, some, some good like bounce. I like where I'm at with the sample so far though. Put a little delay on here, uh, quarter note, turn it down a little bit. Then I'm going to put, put that down at the end. So that's the last thing that hits, but I'm going to put some EQ on here too. Of course, you know what I'm saying? Start cutting around 120. No, I'll say a hundred, kind of leave some of that in there and put the multi-band compressor on it as well. Multi-band compression with the warmer preset. We'll see what it sounds like here. So the quarter note is too fast. I'm gonna put it on an eighth note. So, so far, I mean, hey, it's got a good bounce. And I mean, the sample could be dragged off a little bit, but I mean, so far it's pretty perfect. Um, I'm gonna pull out RK so I can kind of pull out some like keys or something, you know, just something that will allow me to add some extra variation before I like put bass and stuff in there. So I found these horns right here in RK. This is the Clear Skies preset. And what I did was I found the key of the actual beat. It was in the, this is where it was at normally. But in order for it to stand out, I needed to go up an octave, you know, or I was matching the same thing that was going on in the loop. So I wanted to kind of like be a top line. Okay, so I got like an idea down for the like the horns and or like whatever you want to call the sax, whatever. I got like an idea down. So I'm going to put like some more hi-hats in there real quick and then lay like a dope bass line in there. open hat man this is bouncy man i love this this is a dope beat i think this is personally this is like one of my best beats that i feel like i've made in a little while what you think drop me a comment below let me know See, we need a bass line now, of course. So let's go get Trillion. Drop that Trillion in. You know what I'm saying? Use some dope bass sounds. I just love live bass. Live bass always seems, it just sounds good. And of course you gotta tune your bass. Sometimes it's not on key with the with the sample, so you gotta, you know what I'm saying, keep messing around with the, the tune until you get it right. I feel like the, like, the little riff of the guitar is like a little off, so it hits like mad off notes. For the sake of the video for right now, I'll kind of keep it in there, but once I like actually put the beat together, that'll get fixed. All 
All right, everybody. Yo, shout out to Track Lib. Yo, shout out to DJ Muggs on the drums. I didn't necessarily get those from DJ Muggs, but DJ Muggs inspired drums. Um, yeah, you know, I'll give those to the patrons. Patrons of the Patreon, I should say. Supporters of the channel, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you download those sounds today on Patreon. I'm giving those away for free in the Patreon. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you for watching the video. I appreciate you guys. Again, shout out to TrackLib for that sample. This is not a sponsored video by them by any means. I wanted to tap in from that pack, see what I can cook up, you know, with the sample from them. And again, with TrackLib, you know, you can clear the sample, you know, they'll be able to clear for releases, you know, YouTube, things like that. So great company. But yeah, thank you for watching guys. And until next time, I hope this inspires somebody to go create. I'm gonna get up out of here. Be sure to subscribe. Make sure you annihilate the like button as well so more people can see the content. All right, appreciate y'all for watching.